Hey guys, Sarah Ansbury here today, and uh, I've got some subscriber questions. Wow, I had to get that out of my mouth. Uh, that I've got, and uh, this is an important one. I've got a little stack here, uh, lefty based questions. So, uh, first off, I really want to stress I literally have just filmed an entire kind of series for lefty specific um, on my members.sarahansbury.com because one of these questions even specifically says I want some more in depth videos. That is what my membership site is for. Uh, that gives you much more in depth drills, games, all that kind of stuff. And I happen to use my friend Billy here, who is a lefty. Uh, and uh, she's one of our locals here and has worked very hard on her game. So uh, she's been kind enough to spend some time with us. And uh, just kind of, again, skill level, because I always get that question, who are the skill level people around you? So three out of three, five player, eh, I'd say she says three out of three, five, I, you know, I'd say solid three, five is what I'm going with. We're going to go with that. Okay. Uh, it's hard sometimes to kind of judge that level. So the first First question I've got on here, uh, which I really think is important, is who should be taking the middle when your forehands are in the middle? So a lefty-righty thing. Uh, uh, my mixed partner is also a lefty, so I love playing with lefties. I think it's a great asset that you can utilize. And, uh, and this one kind of said that they heard that lefties take the middle. That's an interesting one. I don't always, I don't think I've heard that one before. Um, and then the other one also related is if you are playing with a left-handed player that doesn't want to stack. Okay, um, who? How do you kind of of a signal that so number one uh, I can't stress enough how important it is to communicate uh, especially when you have four hands in the middle okay uh, now often there is like a dominant player okay uh, that's one thing you can think of so let's say in mixed doubles when I'm dinking I often want my male lefty partner uh, to be aggressive in the middle so sometimes I can take that forehand but uh, I want him to take that so that's awareness of space as well uh, one of the old things that I really like to also stick with is um, if Billy is my partner even though I may be the stronger player if she's got momentum them. If she's just hit like two or three forehands right there, there's no need for me to come in and take that ball from her. Hey, um, if she's got that going on and that's working, then keep going, keep going, keep going. Now, um, and I want you to stick your pal out like that real quick, okay? Because this is what I see is this person's got rhythm and moving, and then this person's like, oh, I want to help the situation. So just kind of look at that right there. Hey, so now if I can come in as the partner and maybe take it out here, that would maybe be a little bit different because that's kind of a poaching situation. So let's say if Billy is dinking cross court, okay, now I'm really trying to see what I could take or should take. Okay, if I can cut the ball off out here, then that makes sense. But if I'm just taking it in her way, then I'm really just kind of getting involved where I don't need to get involved. So first one, always think momentum. Okay, and this is also where I hear a lot of, uh, you know, X. If the ball is coming from there, it's Billy's ball. If the ball is coming from there, it is my ball. I'm not always a big fan of this, and the reason is because um, if our opponents always assume I'm taking this ball, then that takes Billy out of poaching. So if she's like, oh, well, that's just Sarah's ball because it's cross court, she's not looking for that ball that she can cut off and take. Uh, instead, she's just like, all right, it's not my ball, it's not my ball. Okay, so always communicate, number one. Okay, uh, but again, momentum is a really important one. Now, um, also a huge, huge factor. So especially, let's say, let's switch sides. Okay, so if we're in this position, now we both have backhands. Okay, um, that is a little bit tougher. Okay, uh, and again, communication is key. But here's the trick on really how to uh, be aware of this. So when we are in our positions, okay, um, I want for both of us for our inside foot, okay. So for Billy right now, her inside foot's her right foot. For me, it's my left foot. We kind of want this to open to the middle, okay. And uh, what that does is it kind of naturally pulls us more forward, but also towards the center without being 
green in the center. The mistake that I often see is players are kind of shuffling and they're right next to each other and now they are in the way of each other. That space is, uh, is a really, really important factor. So we're just going to show you a couple of shots, basically kind of how we would shift. Okay, so um, basically we're going to hit a couple balls in front of us. Okay, and uh, while that ball is there, so Billy's going to have her toes in this direction. And I think I actually, oh, I do have a ball in my pocket. Okay, and I am going to kind of shift my weight, okay, as it's going. And we're just going to try to stay engaged. Excellent. Sorry. And it's in the net, so it's okay. We're just going to get another ball, which is right here. I'm going to move this basket over here. There we go. And, and this is kind of where I got to stress that, like, uh, what, remember what gives us a lot of time? Take a lot of forehands. Okay. Okay. And I'll say um, our, our, our hitting partner just took a backhand right there. And I'll tell you, she went from a forehand to a backhand. That's why she missed the ball. I wish I had that on video right now. Okay. Because it's a great example. Go ahead and use that ball. Okay. So I can be engaged by kind of moving with the ball, kind of a little dance. But I don't really, there's my ball. It's very close to me. I didn't have to move or anything. Okay, excellent. Breathe, breathe. That's you. Good. I'll take it. You, okay. So there was a little communication there. So that first ball, I said you, uh, it was well within her range. I took this one because all I had to do with was my paddle. So I didn't have to step to that ball. Um, it just basically came right to my paddle. I didn't want to kind of stress the confusion of that. So now our, our playing partner is going to actually stand across. So we're still, now I'm going to kind of open my hips this direction. And Billy's going to kind of dance a little bit, kind of shift her weight. Good, good. And I can kind of see we want to make sure our knees are relaxed. Okay. Good, good. You, good. Me, me, me. And a little bit of recognizing. See, that's just, I'm not having to move for these shots. She's got it. Okay, you still got it. And she didn't have to move either. So uh, it is kind of recognizing a lot of times it's staying calm. I'm going to put you back on that side. Um, we really want to watch what's going on. And I think a lot of it is we, we, we stress and uh, we panic a little bit. So um, I'm going to also include a little bit of a trick uh, while uh, Billy and our hitting partner are going cross court. Okay, so I'm still going to kind of dance, but I'm also going to kind of start to open up my paddle. And I'm doing that to kind of see, okay, can I take the ball? Uh, but also it's kind of protecting the middle a little bit. And, uh, and you'd be surprised how often you just put your paddle there and someone hits it right to you. Okay, <laughs> so go ahead and start that again. Okay, so I'm going to kind of open. You breathe. Okay, let's relax the knees. I can feel that tension happening. Here we go. Good. Breathe. Excellent. Right, here we go. So that's so I'm still staying engaged, and I want to be able to see what's going on. So one of the things I'm also looking for, let's say, is um, when Billy's hitting that ball more to the corner of the court, okay? So more in front of me, um, I'm really kind of holding and paying attention where it's going, but I'm probably that ball is going to stay away from me. That sharper angle is not going to go. Now when Billy starts to hit it, let's say, to here on our opponent's side of the court. Okay, those are the shots that I'm really looking are getting closer to me. So I might have a better chance of getting involved in those shots. But I don't want to find myself like, can I get involved? Can I get involved? Often we just try to argue about the same space and we get in the way of each other more than we help each other. So as always, remember to communicate. Okay, um, momentum is key. Don't forget that. When someone is in the rhythm, let them stay in the rhythm uh, unless you can do something that is helpful. Do not feel like you want to just take the ball for the sake of taking the ball. That's what puts us in more trouble than anything. Okay, uh, But remember that kind of thing we're talking. Open your hips and your toes towards the ball, and you will be much closer to your target. You'll be much more aware of who should be taking that ball. Okay, At the end of the day, 
communicate your partner is your partner you don't want to be working against each other